What's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to stylize your video with some presets in Premiere Pro. And we have a menu over here in the effects panel called Lumetri Looks. If you don't have this open, you can go to Window and select Effects. And also, if you don't have the Effects Controls panel open, you'll just go to Window and select Effect Controls. Now this is some pretty cool stuff. A lot of people have been asking me about different features that are in Premiere Pro when they see a tutorial that I'm using, but they might not have that preset or feature. Well, there's a lot of updates that come to Premiere Pro CC throughout the year because Adobe is really hard at work updating the software. So I would just say make sure that you check your Creative Cloud window and see that your software is updated. If it's not, you'll press the update button and you'll get the newest features. Now what I've noticed here is that since I did one of my previous tutorials on the same kind of features is that Adobe keeps adding more presets and it's awesome because a lot of people out there are trying to color correct their videos and they might not be professionals but with these presets you're getting access to actual presets that professionals worked on and that is just fantastic so over here in the cinematic folder we have some options so I'm just gonna apply it to the video show you guys some different looks to the video this one's called sepia and you can go for any kind of look that you want this is called day for night this is a desaturation folder where you can choose some different looks. This is black and white. This is maximum desaturation. This is one I really like. This is a style folder. This one's called Back in the Day. I showed this one in a previous tutorial, but it's really cool. This one's called Dreams. So you can show, you know, that kind of looks like a dream sequence. Over here, this is called Dreams 1. Over here, we have Dreams 2. That looks pretty interesting. This one's called the 70s. This one's 70s 1. This is 70s 2. You also have 60s 1. And this is 60s 2. So let me try this tritony preset. And that looks awesome. It's not a real major difference, but it's just enough to show the difference in colors. And it's a really great preset. I have to say Adobe did a fantastic job with these presets and they'll give your video an amazing look. Now, as far as using them, I would also say if you want to, the reason I have the effects controls panel open is that you can still make masks. So if you want to mask a certain part of your video and use one of these effects, you can. And that's also another cool thing you can do. And besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, post a comment down below. And if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.